Hi everyone. Um, as you probably know, I can't really produce too much content right now due to technology issues and the company I bought my PC from not wanting to do really anything on it. Um, and my way to combat this that I can't believe I have never thought of before is um, making like a podcast type thing. So today, my first podcast episode is going to be called The English Teacher from My Nightmares. Now, I've told this story on stream before, but it was a long time ago and didn't really get too much light shown on it. So I decided to tell it here because I don't know. It's a good story. <laughs> so basically, this all starts out in sixth grade. And my best friend, since I was like, I don't know, three, I think, um, his name, let's see, what name should I make for him? A random name is Jacob. So I'm using that, okay? So Jacob, basically in our fifth grade year, towards the end, he got diagnosed with osteosarcoma, which is basically a type, he had a 504 plan when he came back to school, meaning that he could be um, dismissed from classes five minutes early and could be five minutes late to classes, no matter like what time of day it was, like after nutrition, after our lunch break, all of that five minutes early and five minutes late um however there was this one english teacher that we both had that really didn't like the 504 plan um and i should put this out there i was his like chosen helper because he needed someone to carry his backpack for him since it was heavy moving was difficult for him and a backpack was too much and now he can carry his own backpack but that's not the point so then it's a random day towards the end of the school year mid-february and no i say this is the end of the school year because we were dismissed two months early due to the pandemic um continuing on from that there was this club that we had called meme club okay now the meme club wasn't really that much for memes. It was the only place on campus when you were allowed to use your phone. So realistically, lots of people came there only to use their phone, myself included. Um, and we leave the place five minutes early, the club. However, they're on two separate sides of our school campus, okay? So it's at the top left, and my English class is at the bottom right our English class, I should say. So, there's also a set of stairs that you need to use an elevator to get down. This is important later. So then, me and Jacob, we leave five minutes early, use the bathroom because we have to and we're early, and it takes us a little bit to walk down. The elevator also takes a while because, I don't know, it's an old elevator. So, go down, said elevator, um, finally arrives and make it into class two minutes late. Perfectly fine, right? Our teacher is kind of standing there, like, hasn't even started a lesson, and we open the door and walk in, and she just kind of looks at us. And I'm like, hey. And she's just like, why are you late? And I said, oh, Jacob has the 504 plan. Uh, he can be five minutes late and leave five minutes early and she was like yeah yeah but it's after lunch and i was like okay and like yeah uh -huh. um so then after that it kind of goes on for a minute where she's just like well why are you late and we're like we're just <laughs> the desperation of explaining to her that he's late for a reason and is allowed to be late myself included she just doesn't seem to understand it and at this point the entire class is on our side because i don't know anybody in the class that actually liked that teacher um and it got to the point where then she called the teacher who was in charge of the meme club and 
asked if we left on time, and the teacher was like, oh yeah, they did. And I explained to her our entire route down. And then she said, okay, well, who else was at me in the club? And like, I don't know, a few other people raised their hands, like maybe five or six. Um, and then, I kid you not, she had the audacity to say, well, why did they get here on time? And honestly, I am not a violent person, okay? There are very few times when I have wanted to smack someone into the next dimension as much as I wanted to in this point in time. And, like, it was honestly difficult to restrain myself from telling her to say hi to the future because she got a first class one-way ticket to flying cars you know um and i just looked her dead in the eyes and said because they have functioning legs and whilst this is happening after she said that the entire class like erupts and is like what do you mean like all of that and then she gets mad at them too um and it was just a whole bunch of things all just happening at once a whole symphony of chaos that from an outside perspective would have been kind of satisfying because the teacher was kind of getting yelled at by her own students which is kind of rare eventually i go home that day um, it, and I say eventually because the class felt like forever, and I swear she was giving me the stink eye every time she looked over in my direction. Um, and I check our program that kind of shows, it's like an online grade book, okay? And I check the program, and she marked me tardy, like, late for class. However, I then texted Jacob and was like, Hey, did she mark you tardy? And she didn't mark him tardy, just me. And then didn't allow me to be his helper anymore. So I like told the front office at our school about what had happened. And they were like, oh yeah, we'll try and get that sorted out. And I get called to the office later that day um, in her class and they give me a slip and they're like, hey, this is a tardy excuse note. Um, go have her sign it and bring it back up here and your tardy will be removed. So I stroll my way back down, hand her the slip and say, the front office needs you to sign this. And she takes a good look at it, puts on her reading glasses and like squints at it. And then she's like, I'm not signing this. And I'm just like, what, what do you mean? Then she's like, you were late to class, I'm not signing this. And the kind of argument happened again. And you know how I said I wanted to absolutely geek her into the next dimension? It's like that, but she would see like an alternate version of herself because she would travel through so many different states of reality it would be insane so um yeah i was very close to um entirely just punching my teacher um i didn't punch my teacher though so it's a w for me um and i'm just absolutely fuming so i go sit down and then the next morning i would go back to the office and i'm like <sighs> She had the audacity to not sign it, and they were like, uh... Because they believed me, you know? Even though it's a teacher, the teacher has had many issues in the past. I kind of doubt that she's still working there this year. Um, many issues in the past, and they believed me. So I'm happy about that, also because my story was incredibly reasonable. You know, friend has cancer, shows up to class two minutes late and it's allowed to show up to class two minutes late um and eventually they just go ahead and just remove it they don't even ask the teacher they just remove it um so yeah that was today's story i might post more of these 
um, depending on how this one does. Yeah, alright. Thanks for tuning in to the first podcast. Probably gonna make some, like, decorative background art for this. I still don't know. Um, but yeah, thanks. Subscribe if you want, like if you want, but if not, don't worry about it, and I'll see you in the next stream or podcast. Bye!